Welcome back everyone, or welcome for the first time to some of you to Rec and Rule. My name is RJ and uh, we're live today from Rec and Rule HQ2. Um, this is not Joe's house, but my house. And today we are going to be opening two boxes of Star Wars Unlimited Spark of the Rebellion. Uh, one box is already open just for kind of an ease of use thing and the other one is still sealed. Um, so we'll be able to see um, what's in both of these boxes. Uh, so this is Sunday, March 10th. Um, I played in the pre-release pre event um, at our local uh, card shop, the comic book store in Glassboro, New Jersey um, last week. Unfortunately, I went one and two and the one win was actually a buy, uh, but still uh, the game is a ton of fun. Played a bunch of games at PAX Unplugged back in December against Frenchie. Um, I think both of us really like, fell in love with it. Um, the game's super fun. Um, Brian's also into it. He is leading our weekly events every Wednesday at the comic book store and Frenchie and I will kind of filter in and out as our schedules uh, allow us to. I think Tom's gonna get into it. Um, so we're really excited to, to not only, uh, well, I'm really excited not only to open these packs today, but hopefully get some more videos um, on the channel for you. Uh, so without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Um, so I will admit, um, that I am not the biggest Star Wars fanatic. Um, I know enough to be dangerous, um, but I'm pretty sure this is more of Frenchie and Brian's forte. So um, I will know some characters, but not all of them. Uh, I'm more in it for the game because, again, it's a ton of fun and just to uh, hang out with my friends. Uh, so first one is Rare. Um, Rare Leader, the Grand Inquisitor. That's pretty sweet. Um, Echo Base... And I'm just going to kind of put these here. This is the first time I'm doing this, so uh, it's going to be it's going to be an adventure for all of us. And I'm going to kind of just go th uh, quickly through these unless I get a, a hyperspace um, or anything else cool. Uh, common and bear with me with the glare. Uh, speaking of hyperspace, here is a hyperspace mission briefing, which looks pretty sweet. So hyperspace, if you're unaware, is full art as opposed to the cards with the borders on them. So let's put this actually over there. Uh, then we're into our uncommon. Greedo, uh, no good dead to me. A cunning rare and a foil rare Han Solo. That's pretty sweet <laughs> for my first pack, huh? clean this up a little bit. Try not to cover Luke, Leia, and Han there. And we're just gonna get right into it. Continue right into it. <laughs> there's the leader for this one. Base, another common base. Where did I put the base last time? Let's try to separate these out. Oh, sorry, we're gonna move you. Uh, yes, yes. And then we're just gonna go through and see. Guardian of the Wills, Gorilla Attack Pod. I think I got a hyperspace one of these uh, in the pre release. That looks really sweet. Bounty Hunter Crew. So it doesn't look like we're guaranteed a hyperspace in every one. So the rare is going to be Fett's Fire Spray, which looks pretty cool. And Metal Ceremony is going to be our hollow or foil. So the way I understand it is every pack. Um, oh, and the, the first pack was actually a legendary. Um, so the way I understand it is every pack has a rare and a hollow slot. Um, the rare can be upgraded to legendary, and the hollow slot, I think, can be anything. Um, but again, that is just my understanding, and if you've been with the channel for a little bit, you know that my understanding is maybe the weakest part of my game. Uh, so I did that off camera, I apologize. So another leader, IG-88. Another common base. And then again, we're just going to go through these relatively quickly, because everyone is probably just interested and hyperspaces, rares, legendaries, foils, hollows, whatever you call them. Uh, so it looks like our rare is going to, oh, no, no more. Or uh, there's a hyperspace Starwing Scout. Again, that looks really cool. 
uh, rare is going to be U-Wing Reinforcement Supply, just a rare. And then uh, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, um, hyperspace Foil Shoot First. Uh, uncommon. That is really cool, actually. Uh, rare again. And I try to keep the packs even. I am sitting on my couch. My back is going to be screaming at me. By the end of this, I am sure. Uh, Director Krennic. Uh, another common base. And then on the back of each of these bases, if you're not familiar, is either Experience or a Shield token, which I think is really cool. Um, I don't believe they're on the back of rare bases, rare, rare legendary bases. Uh, and it sounds like my wife just got home with my dog, so if you hear someone trampling around upstairs like a lunatic, that's my dog, or her screaming at him because he is a nightmare. Uh, force choke. Tight advanced. Let's see. Uh, the rare is going to be electro staff, and then... Uh, another hollow hyperspace. Uh, this one looks like another rare bombing run. That looks awesome. Um, so, um, well, I'm going to say my packs, the four that I opened are above average so far, uh, with a hollow rare and two hollow hyperspaces with one of them being a rare. Um, so let's hope I got a really good box here. Obviously, we are looking for some showcase cards, but it's not the end of the world if we don't get one. I have a what looks like a hyperspace leader here, uh, another director Krennic, and then a hyperspace base, uh, common. Uh, what's cool about this is the token on the back is also hyperspace, which is really, really cool. And I'm pretty sure they're called hyperspace, and if not, I apologize for um, butchering them the entire time. Um, if I get any more hyperspaces out of this pack, I am going to, I don't know, actually, we're, we're going to find out and experience it together. Uh-huh. Chewy. Another uncommon. So the rare is going to be the Emperor's Royal Guard, and the hollow is going to be an uncommon Rebel Assault. So uh, we'll put you there. So we'll do rare. Common, uncommon, hopefully some legendaries. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my pile here, making sure everyone can see that. I have the television on in front of me, but the sound off, and it is, I am in my basement, so I am freezing down here. Um, another hyperspace leader, which is really cool, even though it is uncommon. Um, IG-88, so it looks like the theme is if you get a hyperspace leader, you might also get a hyperspace base. Um, at least we are two for two that way so far. Um, and this is, again, the first time I'm doing a box opening, so this is a little bit awkward. I apologize. Uh, no one is um, sorry, sorrier for that than me. Uh, swoop Racer, Swoop the Whoop. Hyper Probe Droid, another uh, hyperspace TIE uh, LN fighter. That looks really, really cool as well. Um, wow, that is awesome. Uh, now we're into our uncommons. Uh, a rare Han, so this will be my third because I actually pulled one of him on my pre-release boxes. Um, I didn't get a chance to play him because the person I was playing was able to discard him from my hand the one time I did draw him. And then the foil or hollow is an uncommon bright hope. Uh, so I did actually, so I got two boxes here, as you can see. I did actually purchase a third box. Um, and here's Leia. Um, I'm still deciding what to do with them. Likely we will use that on the channel for either sealed or draft or something like that. Or depending how I feel after this. Or during this, I might just bust it open if I'm mad with my pulls, but um, at the moment, I think I'm doing better than average. Uh, tactical advantage. Mission briefing. And if I uh, spot the card that, Brian, card that Brian spoiled or wrote about, I'll actually stop and say something about it unless I've already passed it. Uh huh. Barrage, I had no choice, is a rare, and the foil is a common precision fire. Um, okay. Uh, 
Uh, so it looks like I'm putting all my hyperspaces over here. Well, except the, the leaders. Um, I'm not going to go back through them. I'll see if I remember. If not, well, again, all for the course for me. Let's see. Okay, common Boba Fett leader. Um, I think the hyperspace, his hyperspace is one of the cooler ones, common base. Um, I'm curious to know if I can still pull him in the legendary slot or whatever it is. Um, since I already pulled him in the beginning, but we'll, yeah, we'll find out. It's another swoopy boop racer. So our rare is Traitorous and a common scout bike pursuer. I don't think I got a hyperspace in that one, so it seems that as if they are not guaranteed um, in every pack. Uh, another IG-88, I can see that these guys are going to be, um, it's, it's cool that they're all common, so everyone has a chance to, to get them equally. I think the, the showcase art um, might be legendary. Again, I'm not sure. Um, and then after this is, Done, if I remember, we'll go through. Oh, look at this. So this is the card that Brian spoiled, which is really cool. I love the art on this. Uh, Saboteur, I think, gives the ability to ignore shields and Sentinel. Um, and it's the hyperspace variant, which I think is awesome. So I'll remember to put that there. Uh, into the uncommon. So our rare is Relentless. Um, the first event played by each opponent, each round loses all abilities. That seems pretty good, but expensive. And the hollow is a Galactic Star Destroyer common. And I apologize if I'm breathing into the mic because I just caught myself. Uh, Chewy, common, common base, uh, Homestead Militia. Let's just go through these. Interceptor resupply. Uh, I thought I saw hyperspace. I did not. Losing my mind, though I feel like it's already lost. Here's another one, Strike True. That one also looks really cool. Um, I think they all look really cool. No surprise there. Um, another hyperspace. This is a hyperspace legendary, uh, Vigilance. So that's awesome. Um, all right, we still get a rare, okay? Um, so I don't know what slots are what, clearly. Um, because we're still getting awesome pulls. So the rare goes here. And then this looks like a rare foil, Job of the Hut. So that was a really awesome pack. Uh, each trick event you play costs one less. And when played, search the top eight cards of your deck for a trick event, reveal it, and draw it. So he seems like he's going to be uh, like in a very specific deck, kind of like, uh, I'm not even gonna pretend to, to speculate because we know um, deck building and playing and being competitive again are not my forte. Um, I, I really add no value to the channel unless my face is on. It's clearly the money maker. Um, Sabine Wren, well, and even that I fall behind Frenchie, so I'm here for I don't know. No one knows at this point. I think they're just too scared to get rid of me. Uh, let's see. Or they're too nice. Go base. Agent Callus is the rare, and the Jawa Scavenger common foil. So I did notice that some of these cars, it looks like the rarer ones um, have the foil at the bottom, so I guess it's it's kind of more difficult to, to counterfeit. Um, whereas the commons and whatnot are um, don't have them on them which I also think is, spoiler alert, kind of neat or cool. <laughs> Not Leia. Another common base. I have not seen a rare base. I might have missed it. Trooper skill. Trooper waylay. This card seems really good. At least it wasn't sealed when uh, it was played against me. Um, it's, you know, kind of removal, not kind of, it is removal. TIE Fighter, if you'll remember, we um, pulled a hyperspace, so this is what the difference is. I think the hyperspace obviously looks a lot better. 
uh, another hyperspace rare uh, frontline shuttle. Um, I don't know where we're putting these again. Rare seems to be going up there. Strafing gunship is our really rare, and we have a common Corlean fighter, if I am pronouncing that correctly. So you are common. Rare goes there. Let's clean you up a little bit um, because my good pull cards are kind of getting out of control here. Um, we'll put you up at the top. Um, sorry, I just bumped the camera there. Um, so I, I don't know how many packs we're through. That is my mistake. Um, you go here, clearly. Another Sabine. Uh, hyperspace base, Echo base. Pretty cool. There's Brian's card that he spoiled. Wampa, if anyone played Hearthstone, this kind of reminds me of the Chillin' Yeti. Uh, Chillin' Yeti. Chillin' Yeti uh, four drop for four five. Though this one has an ability. Another hyperspace recruit. I'll put you there since I remembered. Yoda. I think that's the first Yoda I pulled. I did pull one on release uh, for a cause I believe in. And if you saw, it looks like I'm getting another hyperspace foil. Uh, common infiltrator skill. Um, that one, uh, I don't know how this comes across on the camera, but this looks <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, really cool. So I pulled three so far um, hyperspace foils and two of them, one of them is rare, rare, common, uncommon. I keep trying to open these packs off camera, which is a big no-no on the Boba Fett. Just regular chopper base. Fruit. Fire. And I am going through these kind of quickly, so I'm sure I'm missing stuff in terms of what's good, hyperspaces and whatnot. Um, Jedi lightsaber is the rare, and being Ren, uh, just the unit is an uncommon. Uh, you go there again, let's clean you up, and after the first box, we will likely do something with all these cards. Uh, I'm just going to go through these real quick to make sure I didn't miss a rare. It doesn't look like it. They're all 30 health. This is a hyperspace Leia. Looks really cool. Again, we are like two, uh, three for three at this point for hyperspace leaders with the hyperspace base. And generally there has been another hyperspace in those packs and I can kind of see one leaking out right now. Uh, Vigilant Honor Guard, so. I wonder if that's a pattern. If you get a hyperspace leader, you also get a hyperspace base and another hyperspace card in there, or um, I'm just extremely lucky, which if you know me, doesn't sound like me. Emperor Palpatine is the rare, and the foil is a recruit. Common, it looks like, yes. Um, so I would say we have about a lot of packs left still, maybe. I don't know, 10 or so, that looks like one four from the box. Uh, I didn't receive them. Oh, so it looks like not all leaders are common. So she is a rare leader. Cool. And still no rare bases. I did pull two out of my six pre-release packs in that, in that um, box. That's some pretty cool art. Uh, Avenger, uh, another legendary, and Inferno 4 as the foil, which is an uncommon. Um, so our buddy Greg pulled the Avenger from his pre-release box and he went two and one. He got second or third place. Um, not that that means that card is good. His, uh, his regular deck might've been really good. Um, 
I'm not sure. I think he played red, black, and blue, maybe, or just black and blue. Uh, hyperspace Chewy. And there goes my theory of getting a hyperspace space with a leader, uh, because that is normal. So I was just lucky those couple of times, it seems. And another hyperspace, make an opening. It's really cool. Uh, red three is the rare and cargo juggernaut is a regular foil, which is a common. I'm going to try to oh, reposition myself as I just knock the camera everywhere. So I apologize. Stay with me. Don't get motion sickness. Again, my back is going to be screaming at me later. I'm just sitting forward on the couch. We need uh, an official thing here. Oh, Emperor Palpatine uh, is our leader, a rare. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe for the next box, I will, well, no, because we want to see if there's any cool hyperspaces. I was gonna say maybe I'll just fast forward through the commons and uncommons. Uh, the Emperor's Legion is our rare. And snapshot reflexes, which kind of also looks miscut. Uh, looks to be a little narrow on the left and a little more uh, thicker on the right, which is, I don't know that it's worth anything, but just something to note. Um, comparing it to the other cards, eh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit. I don't know, hard for me to tell. At first glance, it looks self-centered, and now I think I'm second-guessing myself. Don't worry, we will not um, clickbait you. That will not go in the title. Mostly because I'm unsure. Uh, Jin. Still no rare base. It looked so. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do a better job of um, trying not to hide this stuff. Uh, speaking of rare bases, there is one. Uh, Security complex and a hyperspace common super laser technician. Another one that looks really cool. So uh, you'll go up here somewhere. It's common. There's a common here somewhere. There we go. So you'll notice the rare bases have less health, but it has an epic action, which can be taken uh, one time per game, as I'm sure most of you are aware already. Grand Moff Tarkin, this is a common, though he has a thing on him. Skyfighter, Sky Fighter, Reinforcement Walker, that looks awesome, that art for the hyperspace. The rare is Del Mico, uh, and a foil rare Chimera, which seems pretty cool. Um, clearly, I don't know what a lot of these cards do, because I'm kind of just speeding through them, more of a box opening um, than any type of analysis. And trust me, you don't want my analysis on what's good anyway. Um, I am more in this this time around uh, to have fun, um, which is a little different from our Transformers days, if you remember. I was a little, I say I was a little bit more serious. Um, I like to think I was more serious. It doesn't mean I was good. Probably opened a lot of those off camera. I apologize. Rare frontline shuttle, and the foil is an occupier siege tank. Rares here, common foils go there. So, as you can see, as the piles grow, um, clearly the uncommon foils are, are um, the most common, for lack of a better term. 
So it does look like all the leaders have the, the holographic stamp on them as well. Try to do a better job of paying attention um, to make sure that these are on camera as I open them. Rare Bail Organa and Attack Pattern Delta for the foil card seems pretty good at first glance. Um, but again, I don't know. Uh, Hera, another rare leader, pretty cool. I pulled her pre-release, didn't get a chance to play her because I didn't pull hardly any Spectres. And I just said I'd try to do a better job of making sure I'm on camera and I already forgot. I could have it on a sign right in front of me and I promise you I would still forget. Uh, the rare is Bombing Run. Um, this one is really cool. I did see this played in the pre-release. Deal three damage to each unit in that arena. Choose one first. Uh, that includes your own. And then Greedo uh, is our foil. Uh, last pack of this box. Uh, sorry. Just want to put that somewhere. Another Chewy. I think I did a better job of keeping it on camera this time. Go me. Operative. Swoop to Whoop Racer and uh, Hyperspace. That's really cool. And if you're playing a drinking game of every time I say something that's really cool, you are probably hammered right now. So, good. Ah, Foil Wampa. That's really cool. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I just don't... Uh, I don't have a lot of adjectives in my memory bank stored up for vocab reasons. Okay, so let's move these. Um, unlikely to be a cut of any sort um, because Joe has the computer editing software. This is shot on my phone, as I might have mentioned, and is likely just getting uploaded straight to YouTube rather than um, uh, editing it at all. So I'm just putting everything together in a way in a way that I won't sort them. Uh, Brian asked last weekend if anyone wanted to get together to open packs and sort cards and then what I asked what he meant by sorting cards. Does everyone not just throw them in a box? Um, so I'm putting these off to the side very carefully. Um, I do have some sleeves next to me in case we get lucky with a showcase. Obviously that did not happen. Um, first box. I think these are the really cool ones again. So these are uh, Hyperspace Foil Commons. Uh, you can go there. This is a Hyperspace Legendary non-foil. Um, yeah, hyperspace Foil Uncommon. Shoot first. And then a Hyperspace Foil rare bombing run, which I just described to you and I didn't realize was maybe one of the first cards I pulled, so really doing great here. Um, again, sealed still. So about half an hour into the first one. And you can see me opening this for real in real time as, as opposed to the first one, which I already had open. Uh, so let's get to it. Again, I'm going to try to do my best to keep these on camera, RJ. First pack, we get a Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, so, rare leader. I'm going to go through quicker this time. Um, I did. Just because we've seen most of these cards now, I hope. Uh, Rare Frontline Shuttle, ISB Agent Hyperspace Foil Hollow First Pack. What am I hoping for? I don't know. Just to have fun. Obviously, a showcase would be cool, but I don't expect them. Um, no expectations, no disappointments. So, this is Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, 
there seems to be some red stuff on here. I don't know if that's like that for all of them or if that's just some extra ink. No, because they're on there too. Maybe it's a yellow card thing. I wasn't really paying attention before. No shock there. Rare U-Wing Reinforcement Supply. Foil is a Fleet Lieutenant. Another Grand Moff Tarkin, two in a row. A Hyperspace Base, Cresto City. Rare is Relentless, Foil is Uncommon, No Good To Me Dead. So Common, Uncommon. Other Boba Fett. Uh, let's put you right side up so you don't get blood rushing to your head. I do see a hyperspace, but it looks to be a common cons you know, security force. <laughs> Whatever the first word was. Uh, Vigilance, so this was our hyperspace legendary from the first pack, so two of them. And then a Carlean freighter. I might have called it a firefighter the first one. I don't recall. A legendary, you go up there as opposed to the rare. Space base. Oh no, you're kind of falling all over the place. Oh, rare is Electro Staff, and the foil is a rare heroic sacrifice. Uh, doesn't look hyperspace, draw a card, and then attack with a unit. For this attack, it gets plus two, plus zero, and gains when this unit deals combat damage. Defeat it. Hmm. I'm thinking this unit deals combat damage. Defeat it. Sorry, just took a sip of water and I'm thinking, does it mean defeat the other unit or defeat the unit that gets plus two plus zero? Uh, let's see, another direction. Krennic. Kettleman, right? Put you right side up again. Fix you a little bit. And let's go. Steadfast Battalion, Hyperspace, okay. Another Han, so that's probably my third out of two boxes, plus a fourth. And Crafty Smuggle, I like this card a lot when I pulled it and sealed. Um, I thought it was fairly good. 2-2 two, two, uh, for two with a shield, I like it a lot. So unfortunately, I do not know how many leaders there are, so I don't know if I've already gotten them all. Um, I know one of the quote-unquote money cards from this set is a, a Vader infantry unit, or you know whatever you want to call him, not the leader. He is a legendary. Uh, Del Nico, another rare. I think I got him before. And Emperor Palpatine, rare foil. He looks really cool, rare. Uh, and take a drink, please. So, two rare foils in a row, it seemed like. Oh, no, because I got the crappy smuggler before that. See, we're starting to remember some things. It's uh, 1.30 here, daylight savings time, so I'm going to on the lost hour of sleep. Hyperspace Boba Fett. I think I might have pulled another one of those the last pack. I don't really recall. Sorry, I'm just uh, fix 
fixing everything. Brian card. I think I might refer to that as Brian card going forward. I see another hyperspace cargo juggernaut. Rare is going to be, I had no choice. Uh, Lieutenant Childson, Childson, Uncommon. Uh, Uncommon and Legendary look almost the same color in terms of their symbol. Uncommon is gray, Legendary is like a grayish blue. Um, but I kind of thought that was a Legendary there and I got a little bit more excited than I probably should have. I know you can, you can hear it in my voice. Is that a hyperspace? No, I'm just an idiot. Try to go like that, so it's a little bit more um, climactic. Oh, it looks like a hyperspace, one. no, rare, wedge, Antilles, I guess is how you pronounce it, uh, disabled fang, disabling fang fighter. Oh, I thought I saw a hyperspace, but this is a common. Probably about halfway through. Again, I did not check. Not another Leia. Looks like some of these do have just like red dots on them, which might be the way they're intended to be. The rare is you're my only hope. Another foil cargo juggernaut. I think that's our. I'm pretty confident that's our second one of them. I got one of those in the first box as well. So, quick reactions is my first box in terms of like hyperspace and legendaries and and um, neat looking foils um, is a little bit better. Just through the first half, so maybe that means we'll hit on a big card later here. Another Emperor Palpatine. This is a hyperspace. Pretty sick. This is a rare leader, which is nice. Ryan card. And I apologize. I feel my leg keep touching the camera stand. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Surprise strike. I mean, there is something I can do about it. I just... It's just not gonna happen, if I'm being frank. Uh, hyperspace rare, search your feelings. Uh, I saw innate, if you play save it, slay the spire, I thought this starts in your hand, that's just its type. Search your deck for a card and draw it. Oh, okay. So you'll go up there. Uh, strafing gunship is the rare, and force surrender is uncommon foil. So I got two rares in that pack. Um, that seems like it wasn't the first time that happens to me today. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce his name, but I think this is the first one of him I've gotten. He's a rare. Legendary Mace Windu and an Academy Defense Walker Common. Mace, you will go up here. Red seam is pretty good. Um, it's like an aggro color. If anyone is curious, it is Sunday. Sky Shuffler is still leading the Arnold Palmer Invitational, which is what I'm watching on TV currently. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, it's currently on TV. I don't know that I'm watching it. I'm more paying attention to this. Uh, Luke Skywalker Legendary uh, Hyperspace. Uh, so that seems good. <laughs> um, okay. So you will go up there. Another Galactic Ambition. And the Consular, Consular Security Force Hyperspace 
foil, I bet you this as a common is about a $3,000 card, especially since it has no ability. Um, I know what you're thinking, and no, I will not be taking offers. Um, that one is going to get graded immediately. Um, that is my uh, Chase card to Joe's Archimedes in Wakana uh, that we do not also do not play. So Hyperspace Luke seems pretty cool. Drink. That one I'd like to say I did on purpose, but I only noticed it as I said it. Chilland. Gamorian Guards. So these cards I missed on the first one and this guy here, but um, there's no symbol and I'm 99.9% .9 positive you can play them in any deck. I remember asking that question um, and someone said that is the case. Uh, Hardpoint Heavy Blaster is our Hyperspace Uncommon. The rare is Smoke and Cinders and an Occupier Siege Tank for the common foil. Chewy, and I keep hitting the stand. Uh, I'm trying to get comfortable here, so that's why I keep doing that. Um, I feel, oh, Outer Rim Headhunter, that's a hyperspace. Rare Agent Callus, uh, and then an Uncommon Inferno 4. It's the foil here. Let's see, oh, I just hit it again, I apologize if I do this, and I straddle the camera, if that's a little bit better. Uh, it already feels better, and I should have been doing this from the beginning, I'm going to start over. Welcome back to Wreck and Roll. Ooh, Han Solo, leader, rare, um, I know there's some feelings about the, his art, I... I think it's fine. If you want me to be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't call it great, but it is fine. It's different. I thought that was a hyperspace. This is a hyperspace. Uh, deal four damage to a unit. So some burn. Spark of the Rebellion is the rare and common foil. are sliding all over the place. We will have to make do. Seems like we have like eight packs left. Another gin. Uh, the character, not the drink. Excuse me, hyperspace base. Jetta City, uh, Homestead Militia is the common foil. Another gin, which seems to be, I thought it was three in a row. No. Uh, hyperspace base. See, oh, there we go, Hyperspace Shield. Because I know I saw you, show, showed you the experience token, uh, the box one, but I don't think I showed you the shield. So for anyone wondering, there it is. Oh, this one's pretty neat, Vanquish. Defeat a non-leader, you know, it's expensive. I just like the art. It was pretty, pretty neat. Come in. So the rare is going to be another Jedi lightsaber and es escort skiff. the foil uh, because I just can't help myself and I am a clown uh, 
So I'm hoping by the time you're watching this, I'm recording this on a Sunday and it will go up tomorrow. Uh, another Emperor Palpatine and a Strafe Invention. Ooh, a rare uh, foil. Nice. So two Emperor Palpatines, as you can see. One is foil, one is not. I bet you the showcase of that is really awesome with the lightning going everywhere as else. And I just hit the camera. Oh, I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is why they don't let me do anything and they keep me caged up. Boba Fett. Little City. Guardian Sympathizer. It's the first time I'm seeing that. It's the first time I rem I'm remembering seeing that. As a common, I hope I got a bunch of them already. Rare is Rook. Uh, kind of looks like uh, the guy from Thundercats. Escort Skiff Hyperspace Foil. Common, but sweet looking. A Hyperspace Sabine Ring. Nifty. Rogue Operative. And as you hear me randomly saying words, uh, it's just to break the silence. Regional Sympathizers. I like this card a lot in pre-release too. Even cooler that I got it out of uh, hyperspace right now. Darth Vader. Um, so, as you heard me mention earlier, this is supposed to be really good. Ambush. Um, I think it pretty much gives like haste or rush or something like that. Uh, search the top 10 cards of your deck for any number of Imperial, I think that symbolized units, uh, with combined cost three or less, and play each of them for free. Yeah, I can see why. Um, and then a Rebel Assault Hyperspace Foil, uh, which is an uncommon. So two legendaries in this box, Luke and uh, Darth Vader, uh, excuse me, three, four, between Mace Windu and Vigilance. Forgot to keep count of how many I had last box, but four seems pretty good for a box. Uh, Hyperspace Grand Moff Tarkin. Hyperspace Death Star Stormtrooper. Not a Yoda. The Emperor's Legion and Guardian of the Wills. So rare. Common foil. Uh, last two packs. Fingers crossed for a showcase. Again, if not, I think I still made out pretty, pretty good. Nothing to, to complain about um, until I knock all these cards over and I have to pick them up. Then that is something to complain about, but that's a personal problem and not a you guys problem. That's an RJ problem. Or maybe I'll have Joe come clean it up. Hyperspace restock. Counting. Uh, rare security complex. I don't think I have this one yet. And a foil. Sabine Wren. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last pack here. Drum roll. I'm not going to do it because my dog will freak out upstairs. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, and as I will probably reiterate again at the end of the video, um, we will be looking to put some games on camera for, for you all. Um, not only is it fun, I think it videos pretty well. Uh, the games go pretty quickly um, once we get to know what we're doing. Uh, and we miss you guys. Um, I appreciate all of you who have stuck with us through Marvel LCG and our other side quests. Um, this, I'm hoping, will be a little bit more... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Steady. I hope... Not only do I hope these cards are steady, but um, these videos will be a little bit more steady coming out 
um, as we look to get together once again and, and play some games for you all. Um, you probably saw Heroic Sacrifice and then Admiral Piet. Maybe it's just Pete. I don't know. Again, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fanatic. I have seen them. Um, but if you ask me to, to name some characters, um, I'm not doing good. A good job. Uh, so that's it. Uh, Luke and Darth Vader from this box. Um, and a bunch of other good stuff from the last box. No showcases. Um, one hyperspace legendary foil from the last box. So I think, again, I did pretty all right. Um, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. And like I said before, uh, we'll be doing, hopefully, um, a lot more Star Wars Unlimited on the channel coming for you soon. Uh, take care, everyone.